So at this point, Janet is pissed. She like, they really didn't fix the fucking air? Like, this is ridiculous. We've been gone all this time. We gave them all the time in the world to fix this fucking air, and they didn't fix the air. This is ridiculous. So she tell her husband, them y'all just step out, stand in the hallway, because the hallway is cold as shit. The hallway is like 69, 70 fucking degrees, but their room is hot. That shit is like hell hot, like safari hot. It's hot and stuffy and humid in this fucking room. So she tell them to stand out in the hallway. She take the key. She storms downstairs because at this point she is pissed what we call the fuck off. She gets downstairs. She is going the fuck off. The front desk lady is like, okay, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so what's going on? She's like, my room is fucking hot. Me and my family cannot stay in that fucking room. It is too goddamn hot. So the lady bends down to type in the room number. She asks her, what room are you in? And she says, we're in room 127. And the lady freezes. And she hesitates. And she says, uh, you're in room 127? Are you sure? And she's like, yeah, that's the room we're in. It's hot. It's, it's fucking hot. Do you have another room you can put us in or something? And the lady was like, we're all booked up, but I can send the maintenance man back up there to fix it. And Janet's like, okay, fine. Send the fucking maintenance man back up there to fix it, but he better beat me up there because this is bullshit. So she storms back off to go back upstairs to her room. So when she gets upstairs to her room, the maintenance man is standing out in the hallway with her husband and the two kids. And they are all waiting for her to come back because she has the goddamn key. Even though the maintenance man probably has a master key, she has the key. So when she comes up, she's like, why didn't you just go in the room? And he's like looking at the room kind of sideways. And he looks at her and he's like, well, uh, uh, it's hotel policy that I not enter the room unless the person with the key enters the room. And she's like, what? You got master keys to this fucking room. Why you, just, you know what? Don't even worry about it. So she opens up the a door and she pushes the door open. And sure shit, heat. Oof. How this fucking now? So, we're going to call this maintenance man Michael. Michael is standing there behind her. And she's like, go home. And he's like, I'm not allowed to enter the room unless, you know, one of the guests are in the room. Because we don't want to be accused of stealing anything or something coming up missing. So, I'm going to need you to enter the room first. So, she goes into the room and put her back against the door and hold the door for him. So, he comes into the room just enough to be right behind her. Like, he's standing in the door. She's like, go on. He's like... I can't see in here. Can you go over to the corner and turn the lamp on so I can see? Because I can't, I can't see in here. The lights are out. So she gets pissed. She gets irritated. She's like, fine. 